All right, DJ, I gotta admit, that's a pretty legit looking time machine. How does it work? I don't even remember. I made it when I was super hello. Super hello? What does super hello mean? He means hi. Yeah, I mix I mix parrots up sometimes. Parrots? What does parrots mean? Words. Words rhymes with bird. His mom has a pet parrot. Oh, DJ's mom, right? How's Nancy doing? I haven't seen her since your birthday party. Hey, Ellis. Keep your light-colored hands off of my mom or I'll beat you with my penny sack. Penny sack? He has a penny sack. A sack full of pennies. I've seen it. He calls it his treasure. Hey, Ellis. Did you bang DJ's mom at his birthday party? Yep. Why do you need a time machine anyway? Good question. 2016 got fucked up, DJ. We need to fix it. I have a list of key moments in time that we can change. But you're the only one that's smart enough to make this happen. Hey, Rugburn. I like licking my toast. It makes it wet. Jesus, DJ. How can you be so stupid when you're sober and a total genius when you're stoned? Hey, Rugburn, I love licking my... I love licking my hand. It makes it wet. Shut your mouth, eat this gummy, and explain your damn time machine. Mmm. Time travel's a bit of a misnomer. One doesn't travel, rather. They let the world pass them by. It's like sitting on the top of a train, traveling 100 miles per hour. Uh, don't you mean 88 miles per hour? <laughs> right? Oh, I was mistaken. I assumed you were interested in learning about a future technology that could change mankind. But you'd just rather talk about movie stuff. Okay, Rugburn, I'll partake. Were you where Philip Seymour Hoffman's dead? That was mean and completely uncalled for. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Like I was saying, you're on a top of a train. You hop in the air where the resistance is replaced. Yo, DJ, yo. Apologies for interrupting. Please don't mention Paul Walker. But we just need to know how to steer this thing. Feel me? Fair enough. All you have to do is stand in the static ring. You say the date and location you desire to exist in while imagining who you wish to communicate with. Example, January 22nd, Boston, Massachusetts. Imagining Kurt Schilling. Former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling. Catastrophically awful businessman Kurt Schilling. Why do you want to visit that worthless piece of shit? That's right, you don't even know yet. There is one more thing you need to know though. You can only exist in a time for 10 seconds, and then the continuum will throw you towards the present. 10 seconds, you say? Well, changing the world's not going to be easy, Ellis. Let's get to work. All right, me first. January 3rd, Chanhassen, Minnesota, Paisley Park, Prince. Hey, yo, Prince, fuck those pills, dog. Why don't you try some weed? No one's ever offered me weed before. Thank you. February 3rd, New York City. Uh, imagining David Bowie. Hello, I'm David Bowie. Yeah, uh, we're from the future, we know, um, who you are, and, um, actually I didn't think this one out. I don't know if there's much we can, uh, we can do here. What are your thoughts on greatest hits compilations? Ah, god damn it, I fucked that one up. Ugh. All right, we gotta focus. Hey, check this one. Uh, March 30th, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, place my bet. $18,000, Chicago Cubs win the World Series. Give me my motherfucking money. This isn't about personal gain, Alice. We're trying to save the world here. My money, motherfucker. My money. All right, whatever. Uh... March 1st, New York City, Donald Trump. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, we're from the future, and you win. You're the president. I see. You know, I'm dropping out of the 2016 election. It's, uh, it's rigged. It's like, nah. 
Nice. Boom, that was a big one, Ellis. You're welcome, planet. <laughs> I got one. May 19th, Los Angeles. U.S. swimmer Ryan Lochte. <laughs> wow, we did it. We fixed 2016. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. If you'll excuse me, I have a mission of my own. July 17th, Minneapolis. My birthday party. Oh, fuck. Hey, it's Pine Vinyl. <laughs>